Hi, so I'm going to give you really close up views of this. If you're spending over $200 on something, you really want to know what you're getting. So uh, first impressions here is I was really impressed with the quality of this and I'll go into detail later on. So the particular one I got was this pure white one. It does come with a stainless steel black and a stainless steel white. Now the reason why I didn't get the stainless steel was mainly because of how hard the stainless steel was to clean. So um, let me start with this canister. And I, I notice on the internet that uh, other people, when they're reviewing it, how dirty the stainless steel was. And I didn't want to have to deal with that. So stainless steel was is a little bit passe now because, um, you know, it's it's been out of style probably for a good five years. But it was very popular ten years ago. Now, here is the stainless steel itself. And I've read on the internet that many people have had this for over eight years, eight plus years. And you could see there's a line there that says, you know, the level of full when, when you're putting in water. So this is the canister. It is a one gallon. So it'll create one gallon worth of water in about five hours to five and a half hours. And, you know, people are wondering how much electricity does that really take? So this runs at 500 watts. And I'll have a link in the description area of a calculator for how much that'll cost. Uh, so what that will cost per gallon is actually around 25 to 35 cents, but probably no more than 35 cents per gallon depending on where you are. So even the most expensive rates would cost you 35 cents a gallon. Um, and this is nowhere near that. So this is still steel. This is not plastic here. So even though you're getting the white one, you know, don't worry about it, this is also steel. And there is a reset button here. So there is no on off switch. It just turns off by itself. Uh, so this reset is more like a circuit breaker because it is boiling water. And let me just go around 360 here. So you could take a look. And it does have two plugs, one for the cap. And you'll notice there is no on off button, which is not surprising. All this does is really boil the water and it'll shut off. It has an auto shut off. And once again, this thing's like a circuit breaker where if it does trigger, you will just hit the reset. And you'll notice that um, there, the cap itself or the hood or the lid goes on via a gasket. There is no clamp or clasp that actually hooks this in. So, and I find that to be good because you'll notice there is no leakage here of water that will go into the electrical me mechanism or heating element, which is very important. Um, and if you want to see the bottom. So this thing, the canister itself is pretty light, um, I would say. So this thing, that's about it for the canister. And let me go ahead and show you just how some attention to detail they, they have for this thing. So notice in the middle here, that's lined with glass. So when, when they really say that nothing touches plastic, they are, you know, really serious about that promise that nothing touches plastic. You'll see there is a lining of glass in there when, when the water drips into that jug that it comes with. So just keep that in mind that they do have that promise and that attention to detail, which you might not get in other models. Now just going with this. So you notice the electrical plug just plugs right into that. And this is the lid. And you'll notice the collection of the steam condenses up here. So this thing is merely a fan. And you'll notice there's a gasket here. So you'll notice I'm pulling the gasket. So sometimes if, you know, may maybe at every third or fourth cleaning, you, you might want to clean, clean out the gasket uh, simply by tugging on it and pulling it out. Um, let me go around here, you see the spout, once again, a stainless steel. And if you could even look inside and, and see some of the coils there, that, that is also stainless steel coil. So there's a big fan up here. And I've read that the fan is pretty noisy, it's, it's okay. It's not, uh, you know, I have one of these uh, got from my mother and it's, um, you know, it's, it's not as loud as people say, but you could see that the fan really cools the steam 
which condenses in that stainless steel coil. It's, it's hard to see in there, but, but that's what happens. And then, you know, it collects and then it just drips in, into the uh, jug there. But what I did want to show is a 360 view of this. Once again, if you're spending 200 bucks, right? So the other thing I'll have is also the manual scanned in. So you, so you could read the manual and, um, you know, get some info on it. But, you know, this, this is definitely an awesome buy just for, you know, 35 cents per gallon with, you know, because the problem with a lot of the spring water is that it's delivered in those plastic jugs and and I get that all of those are now BPA free but but still you know having water that you're going to drink into your body you know sitting in plastic jugs is you know just doesn't seem appetizing or appealing um but you know for the most part let me give you a good view of this you know that's the you know, that's, that's that, the 360 view of this. And let me go show you the jug itself now. Now the jug I found to be very high quality. You'll see it's thick glass. It's, it's not the chintzy type glass that you get with a lot of the, you know, coffee makers. So, you know, in my mind, this jug itself, this gallon jug, itself is worth 20 bucks because you you you'll see a lot of half gallon jugs out there and they're made of glass and, and they're not even as high quality or thick as glass as this and yet you know they, they're a $20 jug so this thing minimum is $20 now um, I, I would say this that this thing it uh, looks like it's made in Taiwan, so it's not China. T Taiwan does make higher quality stuff. They, they have better industry standards and, uh, you know, probably more compliant in, in a lot of, which is why this is the only UL listed compliant electrical uh, water distiller out there, I think is what they market it as. I, I don't know if that's still true anymore, but um, it is one of the rare ones that are UL you know, listed. So, um, you know, just to give you a 360 view once again of this jug and pause here and show you just how thick that glass is and high quality. So, um, you know, also look for one of these, these, these are total dissolved solid meters. So tested with with the distilled water here, this was one parts per million, which which is an awesome reading. Basically, basically zero, you know, in terms of any solids that are left over after the distillation process. And it comes with cleaners, so I'm just going through the accessory now. Comes with um, what do you call it? These uh, uh, filter packets, charcoal. Comes with six of them. A lot of people said these are unnecessary and just really add taste to the water if, if you think, uh, you know, tasting the water is a little bit odd. Um, you know, may, maybe the filters are for you. Uh, I don't necessarily plan on using those. And here's, you know, the lid. And one, one thing I do want to mention is the, the thing about this thing, right, with the promise of not touching any plastic is, the reason why I feel like that's important and often overlooked is, uh, you know, these things are high temperature. So, so steam is very high temperature type of thing where you, well, when it comes in contact with plastic, the, it, it, it'll, it'll, you know, it'll, it'll cause like a lot of leaching with, with the plastic. So it's very important that high temperature like that never touches never you know never touches plastic simply because it will create and cause the plastic to start leaching so this is the electrical plug and you'll notice it's merely looks like a computer cable but it's a lot thicker you know so so uh, once again I mentioned that this thing does 
take 580 watts and it says here 580 watts and I've I, I will have the I will have this instruction booklet scanned in in the description area but also I'll have a link to a uh, electricity calculator which will show you how much it'll cost in your area to run this and once again the calculation is somewhere between 25 cents to 35 cents 35 cents on the high end to produce one gallon of water but uh, keep in mind what what that ends up becoming is about ten dollars a month extra so you'll you'll see that in your electricity bill ten dollars extra a month if, if you run this um you know ba basically uh you know you do the calculations 35 cents per gallon and how many times you're going to run it um but i find it is uh well worth it uh, but that's really it that's really what i wanted to mention and i hope this helped and uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching